Another quality of life feature that we now have is track filter and channel filter options with a very nifty little twist. So in this song here, for instance, I have several um, groups of instruments set up. Most of the time it's drums, bass, vocals. And often enough, I'm just working on one of these groups at a time, especially when I'm editing. But seeing just one group of tracks while hiding all the others used to be a little bit of a hassle. Well, no more, because now we have track filters and channel filters, either here in the track list or the channel list in the console. And this works incredibly well. You can just put your mouse cursor right here. And if I just want to see the vocals, it's as easy as typing vocals. And I only see the vocals right now because it's uh, context sensitive. It also shows like um, the stuff that is in a folder that's called vocals. Um, it's really an intelligent system. And if you take a little bit of time to customize this to your needs so that it fits your song template, it's an absolute killer workflow. And the best part about this is that I can just create macro buttons from this that I can either trigger through keyboard shortcuts or buttons on the macro page or the Studio One remote on the iPad or Android tablet, which I think is the best method to do this. So check it out. I can show only the vocals, show only the bass, show only the drums, show everything again. And especially if you work with namings that are kind of consistent in your template, you're going to have the most powerful tracks management tool at your disposal that you ever had.